welcome back to the channel. I'm Professor Matri. Today we'll be looking at the EX Power Trio tins from 2014 and from 2016. Featuring Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, these packs contain some of the rarest packs from the XY and even Black and White series. A few things before we get started here. I do have an issue with us again. We'll also be having a giveaway with these three cards. All you gotta do is be a subscriber, comment down below, and leave a like on this video. Also, we are nearing a hundred subscribers. I have a super amazing video for that milestone. And also, I will be giving away a CGC graded card. You'll have to wait to find out what it is once we hit that milestone, but stay tuned, like the video, subscribe, and we'll get there soon enough. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We're gonna start with a Divergent Power Tins and then move in to our Blastoise and Venusaur Tins. I figured it'd be a good idea to start with some modern packs. And this comes with five packs. It comes with two Evolving Skies, one Astro, two Astro Radiance, and a Brilliant Stars. I also got one more Evolving Skies to even out the playing field for me and Anish. Anish, if you wanna start ahead and go and open those packs. So while he's opening this pack, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the other tins. Those are 2014 and 2016 EX Power Trio tins. You guys saw what cards, what cards they feature. Let's see if he gets anything here first. Ooh, starting out with nothing for our first pack. There are two different variants for those tins and it was a identical reprint. And so we're gonna see what is the difference between each of those tins and find out what's inside. It, is the 2014 one actually worth more? So just for you guys to know, the 2014 one costed almost $200. Meanwhile, the 2016 one was about $100 going into a goaler. I hope you guys are liking this new view. I lowered the camera a little bit, put a bit of a backdrop. Um, I was able to move my monitors back. So hopefully you guys like this new view. Um, start going into a V-Star Typhlosion. Not bad. That is a nice pull. I honestly really like these V-Star cards. They really pop in person. The camera does not do it justice. But so far, Anish is winning map. this tin battle, I guess. Yes. Going into our first Evolving Skies and hoping for an Umbreon or even another Rayquaza. Pumpkaboo, a Raihan into a non-hollow skill. Going into our final pack of Monarch, I kind of just wanted to do this, you know, loosen it up a bit, get us ready for some like semi-vintage packs. I thought that'd be really cool. We got Hippopotamus, Hippopotamus Zora, Psyduck, Rufflet, Drowsy, Seismitoad, and a non-hollow talent frame. So the only thing we did end up getting from this tin was the Typhlosion V-Star. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the 2016 tin. I've seen these have evolutions, even Steam Siege, which isn't that great of a set, but these came out during the XY era. There's no sun and moon packs, um, but we're gonna see how these differ from each other. We're gonna go ahead and pull out this nice looking Blastoise EX. This is quite an expensive video. So once again, if you guys haven't already, leave a like, leave a comment, engage with the video. I wanna engage with you guys. And we have the code card for all you coders out there. So like I said, I did remember seeing two evolutions packs. We get a Fate Collide and an XY Furious Fist. These, these two packs I've never opened before, so that'll be really exciting. I'm gonna start with the Fates Collide, Furious Fist, and then go into our evolutions. What are the set is this one found in? It's not, it's, it's so that's actually in, XY Evolutions, but I think the artwork might be a little bit different. And I think there is another set in the original XY. Um, there was the full art Blastoise, and I'm assuming there was a regular Blastoise in it. We're going into a reverse Solosis. Into our first hit is a White Curum Hollow. So cool, right? these XY and even the Sun and Moon Hollows are really nice. I'm not a big fan of those lines that they have now even from the black and white hour, but I like that they did change it for these generations. Going into our next pack of Furious Fist, this is the third set ever released in XY. First came XY, Flash Fire with all the Charizards, and finally we have Furious Fist featuring Lucario and Heracross, Mega Heracross EX. So those are gonna be the chase cards. They'll probably be on screen, and we're just gonna hope to pull one of those. Anish is gonna be opening our 2014 10, which will hopefully have some real bangers in it. We got Poliwag, Plusle, that's a cute card. Um, we got Mianfu, a reverse maintenance, not really the reverse you wanna see, and a non-hollow Politoed. Looking at the value of the actual packs itself, paying $100 for this tin, evolution packs right now are about $20 a piece. Furious Fist is also about $20. Meanwhile, Fate's Clyde is maybe around 10. So that's only about $70 worth of packs. And obviously the Blastoise, 
though it isn't really the most expensive promo. I think, oops, it's oh. a green and white code card, but we still have a chance at the Charizard. Three to the front, but part of the value is that it stays sealed. Uh, we got a Magmar, a Potion, Pokedex, Vulpix, Electabuzz, Drowsy, a Ponyta, a Nidoran. I'm going to take it from the back and just look at the rare, which is a non hollow Starmie. And finally, a Nidoking Break. So we still do get a hit out of this pack. You've been collecting break cards, haven't you? I do. I got a full page of them in my binder. Going into our last pack of the 2016 10 is another Evolutions pack. Ooh, I keep forgetting to flip the code card, but this is a green and white code card. We're going to do three to the back. We got a full heal, a Poliwhirl, a Pidgeot Spirit Link, a Voltorb, Magnemite, Caterpie, Rattata, Charmander, a re Ooh, oh, the, the red really got me, a Reverse Growlithe, going into a Hollow Polyrath. So this tin did not do so bad. We had the Hollow White Curum, the Break card, and now a Hollow Polyrath. That is something you really want to see. And we do sleeve up those Reverse Hollows from Evolutions because they are just beautiful. So uh, now we're doing 2014 tin here. And I mean, let's hope it's not the same packs. I'm honestly so excited to, to see if we get a black and white pack. I'm expecting a Plasma Blast or a Legendary Treasure, which would be, um, oh, it oh has an Evolutions. God. Where I'm really hoping this has some other really nice packs and not just evolutions. Obviously, evolutions is a great set, but we may have gotten scammed. Damn, hope that's not the case. But oh get boy, leave for this one. Isn't this same art in uh, evolutions? I believe very similar, but not exactly the same. All right, so let's take a look at what packs we get. Did we just get scammed, or is there going to be something better than a fate collide? Go through one. So we got one evolutions pack here. Don't Another be fate collide. Oh, oh my no. god. And a Steam Siege, it's even worse. Out of 2014, then? Ouch. Oh, man. Okay. Does Steam Siege have any nice pulls? It's got the Steelix. All right, I guess we'll start with the Steam Siege. That is actually That's such a so disappointment. Rough. I mean, that, that tin was like around, I don't know. It was, I think, around $200. Yeah. Uh, three, let's three, show that. The three people. from the back. But it does get a lot of hate. Terrible pull rates, but honestly, the cards in it look nice. The only issue is that they're dirt cheap. The The highest chase card in the set is like $15 raw, which I think is the secret rare, uh, what is it, like a Gardevoir? I think so. We got a Chimichar. We got a reverse shiny uh, by Sharp. It's kind of cool, but- Actually pretty cool, yeah. Is that shiny? It is, it is the shiny form, which it doesn't still go for much, but we go into a hollow Hydreigon, which is another cool pull, but once again, Steam Cheese, not Steam Cheese. Steam Siege, not really worth the most. XY really, you know, it goes a little bit farther back, so we're not used to opening it. Um, but it does have the Break Lugia, which is the best break you can get. Um, hopefully get a cool EX card here. But seeing as we pretty much just got scammed from this tin, if you guys could leave a like and subscribe and comment so that I can feel a little bit better about myself, that, that would be great. It's really cool with the Chikorita in the back. This looks very similar to the Radiant Collection from, well, uh, I think, Legendary Treasures. It looks like the exact same artwork. Diglett. Got Diglett, Reverse Spoink. Spoink, and a Hollow Lucario. Going okay. into our Evolutions, Evolution does have the re redeeming factor that it has Charizard. It has multiple Charizards, and it could save us. Um, oh, I, wasn't it the other way? But not oh. with a green coat card. We could get the reverse Charizard and reverse hollow rares in this set are also really desirable. So we'll see what we can get. Going into an energy, Charizard Spirit Link, Machoke, Pikachu, Pikachu. Ponyta, Nidoran, Vulpix, Vulpix. Energy. Oh, the dark color still got me. Reverse hollow Diglett. Our Doug Trio and a far fetched. Right, Going into our pack. very last pack of the video, we have gotten a decent amount of pulls. You can see them lined up back there, but this was really not what we were going for. Um, we were hoping for some much better pulls, some much better packs, but it is what it is. I do think I see something in the back of this, unless it is just the reverse hollow, which is very shiny. But we'll get into this. We got the Charizard Spirit Link again, a Charmeleon. Good sign. Volpix. All right, got a lot of fire. Electabuzz. Magikarp. Ghastly. A Sandshrew. A Reverse Electabuzz. And we are going to end on a Mega 
Pidgeot EX. At least you're able to pull something through with this Evolutions pack. Not a bad card. I don't think I've pulled that myself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know that wasn't the best pulls we got, but I appreciate you guys watching the video. And we're gonna. Wait, I don't think that was good enough. We, I got, we got some more. We got more? We got more. We got more. Okay, guys, we got more because these pulls are garbage. Yeah. What are we opening up here? I have one of the other tins that I purchased in this big bundle here. This is the Legends of Hoenn, another XY tin. This also came from 2015, I believe. From what I've seen, these have Roaring Skies, Promo Class, some sets that I really like. Considering that we just got scammed on the other tin, we're going to be opening another one. I am asking you guys one more time to leave a like for good luck because we need some banger XY packs. Promo Clash and Roaring Skies are great sets from the XY, and I already see our first Primal Clash. We're gonna go ahead and give away this code card. We have Primal Clash, another Primal Clash. We got them Forces going into a Furious Fist. These are the banger packs we were looking for. All right, well, that's a Kyogre EX. Yeah. Pretty, bad, pretty nice. We're gonna do a little bit of a pack battle here since there's two, two for each of us. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with our Furious Fist. Furious Fist is one of those sets that doesn't have the greatest pull rates, nor does it have the most expensive. I think if I flip it this way, wow, this doesn't even have green and white. It's it's that much older. Um, but here's the code card, uh, three to the front. Uh, it's one of those sets that doesn't have the greatest pull rates. It also doesn't have the greatest hits. But just given its age, that's where a lot of its value comes. We got we got a battle reporter. Where's the camera? We got battle reporter, tyrant, tyrant, Let's combust him. Cub chew, polywag, hustle again from before, bell sprout, mienfu, reverse machop. These reverses are looking real nice from the X Y era. Going into a hollow klotzer, not bad. But going on talking about our problem with clash we're about to open. This is full of oh, let's go okay. green and white code card. Full of the legendaries from the Hoenn region, Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, and more Rayquaza. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> we got Lantern. We got Shrine of Memories, a Vibrava. It's a dragon energy, right? Yeah. We got Shroomish, Sfeel, Mudkip, Bebass, Slugma, Reverse Azumarill Ancient Trait. These are really cool from That's the XY really Ancient cool. Origins and, and Promo Clash. Going into a... Double banger. Oh, oh. Swampert Non-Hollow. Was that not a green and white code card? It was. That is the biggest tease. We are getting scammed time Still and time like again that. today. Going into a Primal Clash. This is going to be my last pack for the video. Really want to pull something nice. You know, I'm, I'm feeding some nice pulls. We got Primal Clash Booster Code. We got one, two, three to the front. And you know, these are these are not packs that you see every day. These are starting to get a bit more expensive. So honestly, I hope it's fun for you guys as much as it is fun for us to be opening this. We got a special energy fairy, which they don't even make those anymore. Uh, Skitty, Tangela, Trico, Hone Edge, Meditite, Reverse, Archie's Ace in the Hole, going into a Hollow Blaziken, look at that. That, that is nice. So going into our last pack of this actual video, we really need something to save us. We've gotten some decent hits, but nothing that really drives this video home. Gengar and Dialga in this set are really what we're going for. It has some nice secret rares. This is about a $30 pack. Some, I think it might even be a little bit more. Th this is pretty much considered vintage or semi-vintage. Going into Siglu. That looks like some AI type of artwork. We got Manetric Spirit Link, Croconaw, Lit Leo, Pumpkaboo, Hero. We got a Gulpin, a Totodile, Reverse Litwick, and we are actually going to end on a non hollow Talon Blade. Damn. Oh man, this is. What was our best pull today? Not exactly what we wanted to see. After a lot of discussion, we've decided these polls are not good enough for this YouTube channel. We go big or we go home. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We are opening another XY tin. This is a Blaziken Hoenn Power Tin. Honestly, have no clue what is inside of this one, but we need better hits. Guys, this video is a very expensive video. So if you are liking it, please like the video for me. So we're gonna go ahead and see what packs we have in here. We can first take a look 
at the promo. So we got the Blaziken promo here. What a nice one. Fender looks pretty good. I'm gonna show you guys what packs are in here. Our first one is a Roaring Skies, Lotta Rayquaza. Our second is a Roaring Skies. Our third, Primal Clash. And I already see the last one, you guys cannot. It is another Phantom Forces. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Roaring Skies. So before I, I go ahead and like do open this, a main part of this video was for educational purposes. I wanted to see what exactly was inside of these XY uh, Power Trio tins. And you guys need to be careful when you are buying, especially if you're, we bought these off Amazon. So be careful of where you buy from and make sure you know what you're getting before you click that purchase button. I think actually two were off Amazon and one was off TCG Player. We have a P-Dove, a Swablu, Wormpull, a reverse Pelipper going into a non-hollow Togekiss. So we got the Imo Clash here. Gardevoir pack art. But yeah, I'm not sure when green and white code cards started to make a difference. It's three, by the way. But I haven't been seeing a difference with, with the green and white code cards here. We got a Linoon. We got a Chinchow. Wow, that's pretty cool. We got Electrike. We got Tentacool. Rhyhorn. A Tynamo. Going into a reverse Breloom. And going into a non hollow. What is happening? This has got to be some not great luck that we got going on here. Let's go into Rowing Skies. We'll move these cards out of the way. I think I opened Rowing Skies once in my car, bought the pack for like $25. And what'd you pull? Nothing. Oh, okay. So yeah. that, that, that's, 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 that's a good sign. That's what we want to hear. Another right. green and white code card for the fans. I don't know if green and white makes a difference, but let's see what we got here. We got a Gly score looking real fierce. We got Tranquil. Got Altaria, beautiful dragon card, Voltorb, Togepi, another one of those so 3D renders. Shuppet, multiple Shuppets. Spiro, give us something. Wingle, Reverse Holo, Reverse Holo, Talo, and oh my, my goodness. Oh, this is rough. This is actually the final pack of the video. I have nothing else to open. Going into a Phantom Forces, we got three to the back. Um. Yeah, let's let's see what happens. We got Zwilus, Steel Shelter, Battle Compressor, Purloin, the Denai, Joltik, Skarmory, Alamomola, Murkrow. We are going to end officially, completely, for sure, on a non-hollow Escavalier. Dude, I'm out. Uh... <laughs>